everyone, welcome back. New year, new everything hopefully. I hope that you will have a great 2020 and I hope you've had a great 2019. We are up before days. My name is Stefan Ray, this is Daniel. You'll see our tag somewhere during the video, so that's very yeah. cool. That's a new feature for this year. Very excited yeah. about that. Yeah. And in this video, we're going to talk about the transfers happening with the blue pools, the ins and the outs. Mm. Daniel, let's go. Okay, so this has been posted on 6th January. Um, okay. so this has been out about 3-4 uh, days, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, so, South Africa squad has not been confirmed, but this has been the transfer, so obviously there can still be players added to the roster. Uh, I doubt someone will leave now before the season starts. So the Bulls, uh, we lost Timbaloni Bolle to the Kings, uh, Skull Brits obviously retired, Lurde Yarkas went to Sell Sharks, Travis Ismail went to Harlequins, JD Jackson is at the Kings, Jason Jenkins is Toyota of Blitz, which is in Japan, Japan yes. uh, Janus Kirsten is ex of the Chiefs, Jesse Kittle Cannon Eagles, Andre Liebenberg, Leicester Tigers, Duncan Matthews into the Lions, Andre Pollard, Montpellier, Paul Schumann, Honda Heat, Rudolf Smith to the Lions, Chris Smith to the Pumas, Eli Schneemann to Benetton, Erger Schneemann to Honda Heat, Henry Stassen to Stade Francais, uh, Konrad van Vieren to Sunwolves, Dwayne van Meerlen, Kabuto Spears, and Andre Warner to the Lions. So you lost a couple to the Lions. Five yeah, or six in yeah, five. One, two, three. Yeah, it looks like three three plays to the Lions. That's that's just across. That's like that's like a rock throw. Yes. If you throw too hard, you throw over the Lions. Yes. Like that's close. Yeah. That's very close. Yes. And it's it's quite good play. It's under Warner playing scrum off. Um, Rudolf Smith. Obviously, we had a whole thing. That 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 uh, blog post will be in the description, which we wrote about Rudolf. Um, one of my favorite players. And then Duncan Matthews, obviously a utility back, more wing fullback, can play center as well. Yes. Uh, yeah, so it's it's quite a a, a wide spectrum because it's mm. you know it's young players, but like Scott Brits and Dwayne Vermeil, and you, you you miss them, but you know it's more experience. You know they're gonna retire, gonna go 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 play a retiring game yes. in Japan. You know not where it's a bit slower and everything. And you use young quality players, Jason Jenkins, Andrew Snaimon. You know, uh, are you looking at Andrew Liebenberg, Dizzy Kill, Janis Kirsten, J D Jackson? You know that's that's it's that's crazy. the future of your franchise. Yes. And it's quite quite a big list now, yeah, to, to lose. Um, let's look who they got in now. Um, it's John Rekere from Toulon, uh, Amongili Non Contoana from the Cheetahs, Mornay Stein from Stade van Saint, Josh Strauss from Cell Sharks. Okay, so that's four players in, Yeah. probably 20 out or something like that. <laughs> um, the four players, the, the interesting thing is there's, there's two ex uh, Blue Bulls players, John Ray Prier, which is a lock, yeah. and uh, of course the the Blue Eyed Boy, Mornay Stein, is yeah. back for the Blue Bulls at mm. number 10, which he was playing for Stade Francais for a couple of years. Yeah. Um, so he's also at an at a older stage in his career. And then, of course, uh, who's the guy from the South Sharks? Joshua Strauss, Strauss, which was the captain, the mm. beard man from the Lions. Yeah, way back uh, then. Yeah. yeah, way back then. So uh, that's going to be very interesting. Who's the other guy that you mentioned? Um, Mugili non non if I'm correct, he's also a lock, uh, lock flanker, if I'm correct. I, uh, okay. I didn't Google him beforehand. Um, but an uh, a, a interesting prospect. Um, he's, he's a kind of, he's a, I think he's a physical, more physical player, if, okay. I, if I'm thinking about the right one. Uh, I know it's not the big hooker, that big yes, you know, that notes on him, yes. uh, but I think I, I think I know who we're talking about here. But you know, this, it, it's it's sad for me to see that we are losing about three locks and we get one back. You know, you're losing you losing someone like Andre Pollard and you get Mona. Mona stands a good player, yes, but I don't if he, if his body's still ready for Super Rugby. Because I read the article that said he wants to make the jersey hits. He wants to be the starting player. That's going to be very interesting because. I, I think he will be the starting player, but he will be the guy that's the, that's gonna, um, you know, he's gonna c control the game for sixty minutes or fifty minutes, and then they'll take him off. That's that's what I think that's gonna happen. So they're gonna put him in. They're gonna hope he's control that he's going to control the game for them. Kick every time, you know, hitting those threes. Um, I just think it's a it's a bad deal, in my opinion. Uh, it's definitely money wise probably a great deal for the for the Blue Bulls to let yeah. Andre Pollard go. But he's probably the best at the moment in, in, in World Rugby. I mean, after the Springboks winning the World Cup last year, uh, some some critics have come out and said, you know, Andre Pollard, one of the best, probably the best at the moment, you know, mm. the c competing against uh, Bowden Barrett, which yeah. was two or three years uh, 
I think two years in a row he was IRP player of the year. Such a great player. Um, but Hunter was just stepping up. You know, yeah. It was just stepping up and I think he's going now. Uh, he played a very a very good year last year, definitely for the for the spring box. Uh, and we'll see if, if Mornay can just slide into that 10 year. I think he also adapted his gameplay overseas. Yeah. You know? They do. Well, South Africa say traditionally a more slower slower team yes. taking more penalties. So we'll the Bulls will really want to look to take more points and convert more points. Maybe go to the corner once they got that twelve point lead that everybody's talking about, you know. So but um interesting prospect in Johnny Kier coming back, lineup option more stable now, a uh, young guys coming through to play with him. Mm. And then Josh Charles obviously bringing some experience back into South African rugby. Uh, obviously he can play for the box because he's Scotland capped. But you know, Scotland will look look to this and say, but you know, someone like you, Jones, did a good chance for at the province two, four years, two, yes. two, three years ago, and he just completely played well. Now Josh Charles can do the same and maybe step up, step up again. Yes. So yeah. I would like to pose a question of the day. Mm. So first, no, no, not the first question, but a good question. Um, will Josh Charles quickly adapt to how bugle flankers play? That's for me, it's going to be an interesting question. Because sure. the, the last time I saw him play very well for the Lions, he had a, a style of play that dropped off to Warren Whiteley. Yeah. That it's like control, the controlling, the controlling player. Yes. Yeah. But not a traditional six or seven at the Bulls. Mm. Not the same play. So are they going to use him like they did Skolk uh, Berger? At the end of his career, just running him in the last 20 minutes, mm. hitting players, more a seven traditional for, for the South yeah. African team, just yeah. hitting hard. Do they want him to fetch? Mm. You know, do yeah. they want him to transition to an eight player? Maybe controlling sure. at the back. Yeah. He's definitely not the same player as uh, or a Thor, um, Dwayne for yeah. or or uh, um, a PS Peace. Definitely not the same yeah. style of play. So yeah. that's my question of the day. Please leave in the comments below. Will Joshua Strauss quickly slot in? at the flanker or the eighth man position at the Bulls. What do you think? What's your opinion? Yes, and then before we sign off, guys, remember that our Super Brew pool is running for the entire Super Rugby. Yes. And stay tuned for the prizes to win if you are the best predictor in the, in the pool. Yes. Thanks, guys. That will be all for today's video. We will see you guys in the next video.